What's going on everyone? It is the endorsement back again to do another food review, an impromptu food review. Still have my jacket on. I'll explain in a minute. So I just got back from picking up my lunch and I'm going to be reviewing it. Today we'll be reviewing Moe's Southwest Grill. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Skip the line all the head of time. So Moe's, if you're not familiar, is like a Chipotle uh, Qdoba, uh, you know, burrito place. You go in, you get one of these big mammoth burritos with some chips and salsa, and uh, kind of rock it out. So, got some napkins, got some salsa from the salsa bar, from the complimentary nachos, two flavors, and one very big. Barrito. I went with the chicken burrito today, uh, the home wrecker, which comes with uh, guacamole and sour cream. No extra charge for the guacamole and the home wrecker, unless you get the Joey Bag of Donuts uh, burrito, and then you got to pay extra for the guac. So I just get the home wrecker. And inside here, as you can see, I give you a decent amount of chips to dip into your salsa. So yeah, you get the uh, burrito, it's about $7.19, I believe, and then you jam-pack it with goodness, Mexican goodness. There's some people say faux Mexican goodness because it's not Mexican, it's, you know, Tex-Mex quick, uh, uh, Tex-Mex version of Mexican, but... There's an art to eating this. If I go to Moe's, Qdoba, Chipotle, and I see someone eating it with a knife and fork, ah, no, you pick it up. It's in this nice little handy wrapper for a reason. You pick it up. It's 10 pounds of meat and toppings. Burrito. And you fold that like a banana. It's like a Mexican banana. Look at that. Look at this. Mexican banana. Who knew that burritos were the fruit of Mexico? Not me. Here's my interesting fact about Moe's Southwest Grill. If you're eating inside of Moe's, all the music played inside of Moe's are by artists or bands or groups, uh, whatever the case, that have passed away. That's it. You're not going to hear Miley Cyrus, maybe in a couple years with the rate she's going, but I'm just playing. Love Miley. But, um, yeah, it's only from uh, deceased people. So here we go. I got the chicken, no beans, rice. I added the vegetables, no charge. Uh, mushrooms, onions, peppers. I add the chipotle, ranch chipotle sauce. Little dressing that they put on their taco salads. And cheese, sour cream, and guacamole. Here we go. Yeah, it's big. So, no shame in the game. Oh, here we go. One-handed spear, fingers. Whoop! Moe's? Huh? A little peek inside there of the goodness. All right. Wow. They steam the tortilla, so it's very um, soft. And usually in some of these, the way they make them, if you don't get someone good who makes them, they will have all the sour cream to one end or all the guacamole. I asked them to spread it through. I'm no rookie. Uh-uh. They see me coming in there, instead of welcome the Moe's, they're like, welcome the endorsement. I'm like, Norm, it cheers. Norm! But, um, so everything, I got them all laid out good. I haven't had any of the, the vegetables yet, but let me give another bite. But what I also like to do, which is just me, with the sec after I open it up into the insides of the burrito, I give a little salsa action on top. So here we go.
うんうん。Tex Max Goodness。And the reason for my quick video wasn't I'm planning to review this, and I love this so much, I gotta enjoy it, so I'm gonna cut this review off right now. I didn't even take my jacket off. I was so excited. But between me and you, before I give my review, I like Qdoba better, a little bit better than Moe's, only because of the cilantro rice. This has the dirty rice. Everything else is kind of the same, give or take here and there. Chipotle comes in number three for me. So comments below if you agree between Chipotle, Moe's, and Qdoba. Mine is Qdoba, Moe's, and then Chipotle, based on personal preference. But in, my, in the endorsements review, um, 1 to 100, I give the Home Wrecker Chicken Burrito from Moe's Southwest Grill a 91. Ding, 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 ding. First ever review of a 90 or higher. I've only done six reviews. Don't yell at me. And yes, I'm in a new background. My voice is echoing, same as my last video. Temporary, temporary new review home. Next review should be from somewhere else, hopefully, or maybe on location. But yes, 91 for this. There's no words anymore, so I'm gonna cut this short so I can enjoy this and my. Oh, just you know, some of you, just in case you want to see what we're working with with that, with the chips. Not bad, lightly seasoned. I'll dip into this later into my salsa. But does the endorsement endorse Moe's Burritos? Yes, I do. With the highest score ever so far in my short time reviewing videos for YouTube and for you, 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 you. 91. So excuse me while I go finish this. Thank you very much again. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I have important business to take care of. Yes. Have a great day. Bye.